Hello, I'm IBX Tweaker, and instead of Seed Sunday this week, what I figured I would do is collect the top 5 seeds of all time that currently work on Minecraft Xbox 60, PS3, and PSV tradition, and combine them all into one big top 5 list video so you can find the top 5 seeds, because I've done a lot of Seed Sundays over my time, where I've shown off so many amazing seeds, and I figure instead of just finding more to add that list, because, you know, that is still a cool thing to do, and I want to continue doing that over every week, I figured I'd show the top 5 that I've found so far, so that if you guys haven't watched all of my Seed Sundays, which which I admittedly is most of you, then uh, you could find some awesome seeds. So here are five seeds. Um, I'll show them a little bit. I'll show why they're awesome. And if you want to find out more about any of these seeds, there'll be links in the description, including to all five, of course. So, uh, yeah, these will work on Xbox One and PS4 too, but they'll be extended. And we'll mainly be focusing on the single map version that you get the Xbox 60, PS3, and PS Vita version. So, without further ado, let's get straight into number five on the list. So, um, number five is by no means a bad seed. Just because it's at the bottom of the top list doesn't make it bad. Uh, this seed uh, spawns you in a jungle, which uh, at first looks kind of bleak. But if you look uh, the right direction, you'll actually see there is a jungle temple within about 10 blocks of spawn. Or about 20, 10 to 20 blocks of spawn. And uh, this is awesome because it means really easy free loot just just for spawning basically uh, so in this case we've got ourselves I believe it's some gold and some raw flesh as well as uh, in this chest I believe it's some iron and some bones so yeah bones for bone mill and also for taming dogs and also iron and gold just for spawning that's a really nice bonus so literally no effort to get it and that's always a nice thing uh, besides that the map has a slightly weird formation so if you don't like oceans then uh, you probably won't like this massive ocean all the way over here but on the other hand, if you're willing to make your own island, uh, you could just go into the corner there and make, like, a corner island or something. Uh, there's lots of possibilities of big oceans, but that's not what most people like. So, uh, surprisingly, despite the low land mass, you do actually get a nice mix of biomes. So, uh, you get the ice biome, you get a jungle, you get flatland, and you get extreme hill to the north. So, it's, you know, it's, you know, kind of limited, but it still definitely has all the biomes. And if you are going to set up somewhere, you want a flatland to start building things. Uh, if you're wondering, this is what I did my let's play, hardcore let's play on Xbox One too. But, um, this is where you got to do it, really. It's just this nice little flat ground here uh, or you can go right here uh, it's just uh, below the um, extreme hill to the north which is a nice way to find em emeralds and yeah it's a pretty nice place so uh, seed number five extreme toy cat I believe it is and not a bad seed by any means amazing spawn but as far as stuff you can do after the spawn it's slightly limiting it has some options but uh, it's more limiting than other seeds so that's why it's number five on our list so let's move on to number four Okay, so number four seed in our list is this seed right here. So what's great about this seed? Why is it number four? Uh, so basically, uh, it has two really good things going for it. The first one is uh, moderately common, but still really great. And the second one is extremely rare and very weird rather than good. So basically, uh, you spawn on a flatland. So if you want to start building things and you hate, you know, shoveling dirt and stuff, uh, you get this nice little flatland just here, as well as this really big flatland up here. So if you like building things on a level surface, then it's great for that. You get a pretty big area right at the spawn so you can just go straight away chop down trees start building which is really nice and uh, it's pretty desirable in a seed uh, but that's just not all it has because of course uh, if you look at the map there's a whole bunch more than just uh, 20 blocks away from spawn so uh, if you head to the north you'll first of all find yourself um, an embassy village this has a blacksmith chest this is probably one of the better blacksmith chests i found in a while uh, because what it contains is a free just a freebie diamond uh, six obsidian uh, iron chest plate and an iron helmet so armor diamond and uh, obsidian that's all the three best things all together. It's always nice. Uh, as well as that yellow we have of crops. And there's also a second embassy village there if you want more crops and more trading. Uh, and they're pretty close together. So you could probably like fuse them. And I've always thought that was cool. But uh, let's go on to the really rare and really weird part of the seed. Which I'm sure is the part you care about. And that is uh, just to the north over here. You'll see that inside this jungle... But for some reason, I don't know what the reason is, there is just a desert temple chilling in the jungle. So, uh, I believe this is because desert temples aren't set to only de generate in deserts. They're set to only generate on sand. And because there is sand in this jungle, instead of, you know, spawning a jungle temple, it decided, let's spawn a desert temple. So, this is the chip, by the way. I didn't just build this, in case you think that. Uh, but, yeah, there's jungle vines inside this desert temple. And that's weird to me. So... Of course, four free opportunities for loot instead of two is always a nice bonus, uh, even if they suck, like right here. Um, but as you can see, uh, just a, a desert temple chilling in, in a jungle. I don't understand why. So, uh, just to go, go over what else the seed has, just very briefly, again, you can check out all of it if you want to. Uh, there's two, uh, there, well, there's three islands in the ocean here, separate from the landmass. One of which is a really cool mushroom biome island, and the other two of which are both snow islands. But this one has a really nice little frozen lake right here, which is, it's, there's something magical about that. Uh, it also has a 
stronghold beneath it. So it's a magical frozen lake with a stronghold underneath it. So, uh, yeah, what more do you need in a seed besides super rare occurrences, flatlands, and uh, nice frozen lakes? Uh, that's what we'll find out from number threes, two, and one. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's move on to number three. Okay, so seed number three on our top five seeds list is one that isn't great because it's actually amazing and it has lots of good stuff. It's great because it has so little, and that might sound really confusing to you. Uh, but basically, this is the extreme challenge seed. Uh, this is the most challenging seed you can find in survival that doesn't involve giving yourself weird rules. Uh, the only thing you can't do is turn on bonus chest, and then you get one of the most weirdly challenging seeds ever. And why is it so challenging? You might notice if you look around, there's no trees. Uh, how do you even play Minecraft without trees? That's no crafting, right? Uh, not really. So basically, um, as you can see, the entire map has no trees. I checked the entire thing. That's how you can see uh, the map's fully explored. The only way to get wood, and this is a little bit ridiculous in survival, but it was still a very fun time. I tried it out to see if it was actually fun. Uh, you have to dig down at this location. I mentioned this in the video, of course. Um, I might have got off by a block, but you just have to dig down at this little island here, and eventually if you dig down enough, you have to break through stone, which takes quite a bit of time, I'll be honest. Uh, and you end up in this little ravine here, or this little big cave, I guess, with a mine shop going about it. So, um, because it's underground, of course, it's full with uh, all these mobs, and you have to fight these off with your bare hands, uh, and then slowly, like, uh, but surely, of course, uh, get more and more wood by breaking the band mine shop around you, which means instead of just being able to, you know, break a single piece of wood and getting four planks from it, you break every single plank by hand, meaning if you want a sword, you have to slowly do that, you have to keep yourself safe while you do so, and it's so challenging, but it's so rewarding, because it's not just easy Minecraft that you've done a hundred thousand times before, you know, more like 10 times before, but it's uh, a difficult Minecraft. And uh, as a nice bonus, you get some coal and some lapis in a nearby chest. Uh, but yeah, it's a real challenge. Try and defeat the Ender Dragon using the seed. It's possibly the most fun, interesting challenges that you can do in vanilla Minecraft for the consoles, and I definitely recommend it. So, um,. If you want the seed and the uh, like coordinates for important things that will help you out, uh, then definitely check this out. Uh, it's <laughs> it's so challenging. I live streamed it if you're wondering, and it it didn't go well. I I got like two hours in, I think though, so not not too bad. So uh, that's seed number three. So let's move on to seed number two. Really, really getting close to that number one now. Okay, so seed number two is one you will probably recognize if you follow my seed videos, because this is last week's seed, and it's so good, I figured it just had to be here. So, uh, this is a seed with a whole bunch of things going for it. So, the first big one uh, is just one of those weird, rare coincidences, or not coincidences, but rare, weird, 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 rare happenings. Uh, basically, there is a river which runs all the way from here in the swamp biome, all the way, if you look at the map, all the way through the entire map, and all the way up to that jungle if you want it to, which means you can make an insane waterway, and that, that's just a super rare thing to have a river that goes that long, especially on the console versions. On top of that, uh, at spawn just here, there's a really nice frozen lake, and because it's far enough away from everything else, uh, mobs basically just can't touch you, because they just, you'll, they'll spawn uh, at the edge of it, because mobs can't spawn on ice, but they just won't be close enough to you that they can do anything. So if you want to just uh, make a house in the middle, you can't light it up, of course, because that'll melt the ice, but you can just make a house in the middle of an ice lake and be entirely free from mobs, so that's a nice thing you can do. Uh, other than that, the seed has a slightly weird mixture of bio it's not what I call good, uh, so it's like an amazing seed otherwise, but it has a weird mixture of biomes. So it has a lot of ice, uh, which makes this river slightly icy. Um, also, by the way, just uh, quickly, there's an above, uh, there's like a stronghold, which is very, very easy to access just from uh, a little hole in the ground here, uh, as well as a whole bunch of other things that I can't show up today, of course, including a desert temple or blacksmith chest, that sort of stuff. Um, but it also has two really, really nice deserts. So uh, this is the first, or the second desert, I guess, over here. Uh, this one's really great because all it has is it just has a really nice nice area to run around and get endermen and stuff and then the second desert is just over here i'm gonna drink a speed potion i am that's how important it is. I need to be speedy. But uh, let's head over to the second desert. And this is where you can see the um, the desert temple, like I mentioned earlier, as well as the NPC village. So two amazing things, uh, or two amazing deserts, an amazing river. Uh, where is that blacksmith chest, actually? Does it even have one? Yeah, it does have one. Uh, as well as the church. Just a really compact village, really. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing seed all round. I have no idea how rare it is to get a village that run, uh, a river that runs that much through the map. But I haven't even come close to that before. Uh, uh, and yeah, it's crazy. So crazy, crazy seed. Lots of awesome things. A little bit of a weird biome mixture, but still a great all-round seed. Let's move on to seed number one. 
Okay, so this is seed number one, the best seed for Minecraft, Xbox 60, PS3, and PS Vita right now that I can even begin to think of. Not just because of how amazing the seed is itself, it has a really great mixture of biomes, it's just a great seed all around by itself, but because of what I've done with it. So I'll talk about that in a second, but let's first a full look around the spot. So uh, you spawn a nice extreme hill, you spawn uh, with a really nice view of everything, and uh, yeah, as you can tell, it's just going to be an amazing mixture of biomes. Uh, the really amazing thing about this, the thing that took so long for me, and why this is kind of like a passion project to me is it has 150 that's right 150 diamond coordinates so these are uh, glowstone towers represent uh, the glow, uh, diamond coordinates but you can find them all in the description of the actual video itself uh, on top of that it has 10 emerald coordinates for it so if you want emeralds and you want to mine them uh, that's what has this has going for it and it has so many just amazing things around the map that i feel i just have to show you and um the seed is actually IBX Toy Cat, like I B E E X Toy Cat. That's uh, just how amazing it is. And um, if you just look around, this is usually a double spawner. Sometimes it's a single spawner. I don't even understand. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's a spawner just around the spawn, just over here, which is always cool. Um, it's got a, a whole bunch of other cool things going, including a village in the center of the map just here, as well as a bunch of diamond coordinates around the village, because why not, right? Uh, a second NPC village, if you're willing to head this way, above another extreme hill biome, so even more emeralds, by the way. Uh, but yeah, if you head this way some uh, some distance, then you'll end up at the second NPC village. Uh, this is the cooler one, in my opinion, because not only does it have a blacksmith chest, uh, and the blacksmith chest, I believe it's pretty good. It might just have diamonds in, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it has diamonds in the blacksmith chest, on top of, you know, the amazing seed everywhere else. Uh, and it also has has a house just over here where if you dig down from the house you end up in an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, yeah it's this one there's there's just dirt which naturally spawn in the house and if you just dig down the corner you end up in, in an abandoned mine shaft which is uh, like a bedrock one which means that you can get diamonds too. So the seed is just so amazing by itself, and uh, then on top of that I decided to put in all the hours it took to find 150 diamonds, 10 emeralds, and just loads of cool things like that. So, uh, this is a seed that I just, I wanted to find something amazing that will truly blow people's minds, and, you know, test the quality versus uh, quantity thing, and I think this proved it. It's just the most amazing seed in Minecraft. I love it so much, but and it of course has my name. So, this is probably my favourite seed. It'll probably continue to be my favourite seed for quite some time, um, and it just has so much going for it. Uh, regardless of what you want from a seed, and if it's in survival, presumably, uh, the seed has you covered. Like, look at this flatland, anyway. Like, it's just a... It, it takes so little effort to make a massive, like, half the map flatland here, and I just I really like what's going on here. So, I hope you enjoyed this top five seed countdown. If you did, you can like the video. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, Please do share it if you really liked it. It uh, helps the video out a lot. And it uh, helps me out personally a lot too. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know which one you think was the best. I think the number one was the best. And uh, I, I, I'm correct. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, seriously, let me know um, if you preferred like, the Mushroom Island seed. If you preferred seed number five, maybe. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Check out any of the seeds if you want to try them out. And goodbye.